What's up guys, this is Kyoto here and we are back with another unboxing slash review video. So today we are checking out the glitter and effect figurine uh, version of Miko Jogasaki from Auto Master. And uh, this is from Bam Presto as you all can uh, kind of see it from here in this little corner. But uh, yeah, it took a while for me to finally do an unboxing of this. I've just been pretty busy with uh, assignments and work and all. But uh, you know, finally got a day off and uh, want to finally unbox this because I need to, uh, you know, add more stuff to my Miko Jogasaki shrine in my room. But uh, yeah, I got this relatively cheap on Otakumbo for about 20 bucks or so. And uh, I think it took him like two or three months for this figurine to finally arrive. I mean, I had him had it in my room for like a month or two now, but uh, you know, when I was waiting on it, it took like two, two or three months. But uh, yeah, here we are today. You guys are watching, and I'm finally unboxing this uh, bad girl right here. So I already removed the tapes on the corner because it makes it easier for me to actually unbox it. Never mind that there's one tape left here. Usually figurines are kind of easy to assemble for Ban Presto or they're already assembled by themselves more likely but here box and of course with Ban Presto if you guys don't know why these figures are cheap that's because they are prize figurine figurines that you see in Japanese crane machines and uh, you know I myself have wasted a lot of money playing in Japanese crane machines and trying to win a $20 prize when in reality, I should have just went across the street to the Akihabara or the anime store to buy for uh, 20 bucks, 30 bucks or so. Save myself the trouble. But, you know, gotta play those crane machines because those are ridiculously fun to play and I enjoy a lot. And am I missing a stand? I honestly feel like I am missing a stand. Unless. <laughs> well, first off, let's just unbox this right now. So, of course, you get the figurine itself. Oh, she's supposed to stand like this? I don't know. Boom. Not gonna lie, quality of uh, this is rigid or rigid. I don't know what the word to define it, but it's actually not that bad. It is not that bad. Here is the figurine itself. Oh, beautiful. If the camera could focus. For a $20 figure, I will honestly say this is around $50. Like, look at the quality, even her face, if you could. Yeah, there's a pretty good amount of details on her face, her accessories right here. I'm actually quite shocked. You know, you can tell from, uh, it's not going to be one of those high standard figurines because there are some, like, one of those paint lines that you would see on this, like, figurines for cheaper ones, but. Overall, if you give this to a person, they would probably think that this figurine would be around like, I don't know, more than $60, but that's not that bad. You just give this figurine a stand and you would honestly would say, yeah, it's a $50 figurine. But uh, yeah, we're missing an accessory. We got to uh, add her little, uh, I don't know what you call it, and voila. So here is what the figurine, or the whole figurine looks like. You get her uh, outfit that's uh, pretty big actually. Um, the feeling right here is pretty rigid like I mentioned before. Uh, honestly I'm kind of surprised that there's no uh, figurine stand because I thought that... <laughs> oh, I accidentally moved the camera. I thought there was going to be something that holds a figurine, but I guess you just place a figurine on its own. But. Honestly, the face quality is really good. I mean, you kind of see a little details in her eye. And I was going to say eyes. I mean, <laughs> one eye's open. Oh, my bad. But yeah, like, even her head. The qual- like, honestly, the design on the head's uh, actually not that bad either. Like, usually for, like, cheaper figurines, you would kind of see, like, minor details that are, like, you know, rigid, not like, it, it feels like unfinished paint for some reason, but honestly, the colors of Mika, really good, it actually is correct color, because honestly, it would have been probably bright red for a cheap figurine. Yeah, even the, her bottom right here, kind of detailed actually, too. Overall, I mean, the only negative thing I can say about this figurine as a whole is that the fact that it doesn't come with a stand. I mean, you're only having her take one knee right now. Her like other knee is like not even on the ground. Like, see what I mean? But uh, yeah, you can see that the knee is not even touching the ground. And uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, I think that's kind of lame, in my opinion. I mean, shouldn't like both knees reach the ground, at least, and not only that, this part's the one that's like hitting ground, so... I mean, over time, I mean, right here. Over time, I honestly feel like this is gonna get damaged uh, throughout the days with it holding, but maybe I could do this. Yeah, I mean, I guess you have to just angle her legs in a weird way, but I think that's the only negative thing I could say about this figurine itself. But the quality and design of the figurine, I will say, is the greatest quality of all, just because, like I mentioned, I keep zooming on her face, but... Yeah, like, you can see the glitter part right here. I think the glitter part of the dress is uh, pretty nice. You see the rigid lines right here. The inside of the design is, uh, has a nice little pattern. The hair is not like, you know, you can tell the difference from a cheap figurine to a expensive figurine. And honestly, it would be really hard to tell that this is actually a $20 figurine that you could get. But overall, quality of figure, I think it's worth your money, honestly. $20 for this nice ass figurine? Hell yeah. And you want to see the other figurines of Idol Master? Got some on top right here. Like, the Miku one's alright. Or Miku. And then you got Fumika. I think, okay. This one I won for like $2 at, uh, in Osaka in Japan. And, you know, the quality, you can tell the quality is not as great. Nice. I don't know. It just feels like, even like the accessories right here, it kind of just looks so cheap. Including like the pattern on the dress. It, I don't know. It just feels so cheap compared to uh, this one where it has a lot more expressions I would say. Alright so I just put the glitter and effect figurine in the display case now so uh, my Mika shrine which I'm not gonna lie I think I just said Miku a lot in the beginning so apologize in advance but look at that look at my newly updated Mika shrine you got this one from back then which the camera is not focusing oh yeah oh yeah you got the tulip edition version of Mika, which is probably the most expensive that I spent so far. You got the sexy one right there in the corner, which I got in Japan for like hundred bucks. And uh, uh, FYI, do not buy online. Online's probably like hella expensive. I, last time I recall, it was like over two hundred fifty bucks. And uh, you know, save yourself trouble. Go to Japan, get it for hundred dollars. There you go. Your suitcase will probably be full by then. But uh, but uh, yeah, the plushes with the CD albums behind it as well as the file folder man this shrine is beautiful but uh word of advice if you guys do want to get this glitter and effect figuring of mika and you know if you're a fan of Isle master all that stuff uh check out otaku mode or ami ami it's probably still in stock i'm not 100 percent uh, guaranteed on that but if not then you can always go on amazon maybe they might have it safe bet though go to japan japan's the place to be when you want to get your figurines because like I said uh, that figurine right there I got for like $100 in Japan and uh, it's much more cheaper there to get it there since you know people in Japan love to have their figurines be in really good condition used so by use but uh yeah look at the shrine it's pretty full hopefully they don't announce more Miko figurines because uh yeah I don't have space like you can obviously tell but uh, yeah, not gonna lie, next video I'm probably gonna do unboxing just to fill this empty void right here because Asuka is looking lonely, I'm sorry. Look how lonely and empty this is. It's just like, look at this dirt, I'm not sure. Can the camera pick that up? Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video and if you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, comment below your guys' thoughts. This has been your boy Kyoto, and uh, honestly, hopefully you guys catch me in my next video. It might be an unboxing video, it might be some anime talk, uh, topic or manga topic I'll talk about. Which most likely will be because uh, there has been recent news that you know I kind of want to express my thoughts and feelings about. And uh, also tell you guys the article as well because I think it's very important. But you know, hopefully it's more positive news. Sometimes it can be, but anyways, this has been your boy Kyoto signing off. Uh, hopefully you guys see my see me in my next video and uh, honestly take care of yourselves from wherever you are around the world because uh, yeah it is spring and it is hella beautiful and hopefully it's not like snowing in your area that'd be a little crazy but anyways 
Hope to see you all on my next one. Take care of yourselves and uh, peace.